back to the Midnight Who Show, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Simpsons' 33rd Treehouse of Horror. And let me tell you, out of all the modern Treehouse of Horrors that they've done, this is the best one they have ever done. Each of these three segments were so well done and had some really genius elements in them, and I would definitely recommend this one to anyone who's maybe been a little bit disappointed by the recent Treehouse of Horrors, because this one, you will not be disappointed. The very first segment is The Pookadook, a parody of 2014's The Babadook. Now, I have never seen the app film, but I still think The Simpsons did a pretty good job in this parody. I really kind of enjoyed, you know, Marge was just reading Maggie a bedtime story and the Pookadook keeps showing up and just all the way she tries to destroy it and it just never works. And I really just felt that was a really interesting idea to kind of explore Marge and how the family kind of neglects her and how this can kind of manifest into this creature that soon goes after Maggie. And I really enjoyed Maggie in the special, you know, definitely her trying to basically stop evil Marge and how really resourceful Maggie really is was really awesome to see. And I really also gotta say that I really like how Maggie is the one that can snap Marge out of anything. But yeah, this is a great kind of two-hander between Marge and Maggie, and I really think it explores a very interesting idea, and it was a pretty decent parody. The next segment was Death Tomb, a parody of Death Note, an anime that I have never seen, but I am at least familiar with a lot of the characters simply due to the line of Funko Pops that have been released. But I gotta say, even if I haven't seen the anime, I gotta say this was a pretty good segment. I really enjoyed the idea of just, you know, Lisa getting that Death Tomb and just trying to save the world through murder. And how she kind of becomes corrupted by the death tomb. And of course, Steve, the Shimagori, was really good design. I really like that. And I really like that El Barto was L. Genius idea, Simpsons writers. And they actually animated this one in the anime style. Which honestly was a, such a smart choice. Because I don't think the segment would have been as good if they just animated it like normal Simpsons style. And I gotta tell ya, these characters were translated really well into the anime style, really well, and I really enjoyed the, you know, they just captured, like, the movement, the hair designs, everything that you would want from a classic anime, they definitely did that in Simpsons form. So that was awesome. Now, the final segment is an instant Simpsons classic. Simpsons World, a parody of Westworld, which is actually something I have actually seen. I've seen the original movie and the TV show. But let me tell you, this is seriously one of the absolute best Simpsons Treehouse of Horror segments in such a long time. There are so many references, and it's actually kind of what I call reference overload. But it was fun watching this episode. I'm like, oh, that's that. Oh, look, the pretzel cart. Oh, they did the mod with the sh shirt cannon. Oh, man, everything's <laughs> It's like I was just I was kind of losing it when I was watching this segment. But it's just this awesome idea to have The Simpsons be this IP property and just kind of have this whole theme park built around them and people can interact with their favorite episodes or their favorite beams like The Hedge. What a phenomenal segment. And I gotta tell you, that ending where all these different worlds and all the different animated shows, which one would you go to? We got basically Spongebob World, Futurama, Family Guy. Which one would you go? Because they ended up in the Bob's Burger land and we get a little little crossover with Linda Belcher. That was really cool. So overall this was a fantastic tree house of horror. Each of these three segments was phenomenal to watch. I enjoyed every single one of them. But what was your favorite segment? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys later tonight for our annual Halloween show where we celebrate the 30th anniversary of Goosebumps. See you guys then. Bye everyone.